Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can trigger Power Automate flow from one page having one button. For example, if I'm clicking on this button, it should trigger some flow. Or if I am clicking any button over here in my email, then it should trigger that flow. And if you are working with list or list command extensions, you can put one custom button over here. So on clicking that button as well, it should trigger, it should start one flow. So all these uh, scenarios, for example, having button or button in an email or a button on a list command action would require in turn to create just one flow, which is with HTTP trigger where we'll be using HTTP request received trigger and later on that request would give us a URL which can be embedded into this form button or in this email button or list command actions. So I'll just give you that walkthrough. So it will be a very quick flow, not too complex. It's just uh, giving you idea how you can just uh, write one flow which can be triggered via one button click. So I'm just creating one flow and it's instant cloud flow and trigger I'll just skip because I will start typing trigger over here. So as I said, so when button is clicked, so I need some action URL or a link that should trigger that should call my flow. So for that, I will be using when HTTP request received. So if I select this trigger, it gives me the HTTP post URL. So that means this URL is going to be tied up over here in email body or over here in button or over here list command extensions. So I'll just, and you must be seeing that is saying URL can be, will be generated after save. So we need to copy this URL post. This is this uh, HTTP act trigger is done. What is request body JSON schema? So if we are using method as post, then we have to pass uh, some payload which can be used as in parameter or some values which can be taken care in the next step of this flow. So that is request body JSON and that is being used just with the post uh, or put method types. So if we are just uh, doing get, then no need to have this. Sample payload. So as I said, if we are going to use this uh, post method, then we have to pass on the sample payload so that it can generate the actual payload. So I'll tell you that too. And in uh, show advanced, we have this what method type we would like to choose and relative path. So right now I'll just leave it as blank to showcase you like what will happen if I don't pass method, which method type it takes as by default. And in next step, simply because we would like to just test this flow. So I'll just say send email. So this flow on button click, it notifies some set of users or you can also do some operations. For example, uh, you wanted to like add some item to the list or clear item or delete something like that. Any operations in the normal flow, which you can do, you can do with this. I'm just saying email and I just Practically, I'll send one notification from this email test via button flow and body. I'll just specify test body and saving this flow. So once the flow is saved, we'll be seeing the URL which we can use. So it's still saving. So this URL it created. So you can just copy this URL and now I will go to my test page. So over here, for example, if I would wish to trigger this flow from this page, I can simply put one button on the page. Let me delete this section and simply I can just put one button and in this button, I can specify the link and this link is the same link which we copied and label I'll say call a flow and republish. So I am going to click on it and wait what happens to this, my flow, which we just created. Let me just give it a name. So flow trigger on button click. 
And now I'm clicking that button. So it tried to open it, but it gave me error. The HTTP method for the request is not valid. Expected post, but got actual get. So that's what I say. Like if you leave it blank, so by default it takes post as method. And if I just go to my run, it did not run. There is no instances which is running because this is expecting get method. If I am just going to do that via button. So I need to change my flow for this requirement. I need to put the method type as get and saving it. Now I am expecting my flow to run from this button click and now I am clicking. So it did not give me error. It just opened that and I will just go to my flow instances and check. Now my instance got triggered. I must have got one email as well. So this is the email which I got from my flow. All right. So we are successfully able to complete this flow triggering via button and the same happens with email. So if I wish to send some button or some options in email then I can just embed the link which I just copied from my this flow in the email body. So you can just have that link or rather than that and simply say click here. Under this, you can just embed it and just send that to myself so that I should be able to trigger it. So now I'll just click on this link. The same operation should happen. Flow should run. It should be giving me a couple of instances and I got again one email. So in short, like if whenever I would like to click or trigger my flow via button or some link, I need to create this type of flow with a trigger when an HTTP request is received. And then later on, I can do operations based on my requirement. And if I wish to choose the method type as post, then I need to pass on this request body JSON. And for that, I need to because writing directly JSON into it, it could be a uh, tricky thing. So I can just create one JSON using some sample. So I just put that sample in. So this could be a sample payload schema. So for example, if in my this trigger operation from this page, I would like to just clear my let's say sales reporting. So probably I have this uh, uh, this body pass that delete list one could be just says true we can interpret that one as true delete site so I would like to just clear the entire site and delete pages I just would like to delete the pages so this is a sample one I just use that in my flow to generate the schema so I just add this one done so now you can see like with sample payload I got this request payload generated so I can use this payload when I would be calling this uh, HTTP URL via my post method. So it could be via one script or you can just also try that into your uh, postman because directly post call cannot be triggered from just by clicking one button. So it has to be called some through some scripting. So I, for sample, I just told you this one. If your requirement is just to call the flow on button click then just have that get method instead of post. So you are done. So whatever complex logic you would like to wish have in your flow, you can add it based on your requirement. But the intent of this video was just to like make you aware that how you can use the HTTP request receive trigger with a URL, which can be binded to a flow, to a email or to a list where you can just have this, those custom buttons. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop in your comment box and also please like, subscribe and to my channel. Thank you. That's it for today.